This is Gabriel Blythe, survivor in the Salt Lake area. Can't and... skip that part. What? Uh, okay. I thought this was one of your favorite things. Usually, yeah. Yeah, it's just, I... Mm. It, it, it's okay, Xander. Take a breath. <sighs> you wanted to join the broadcast, so here we are. Mm -hmm. What did you want to talk about? Did you want to tell me another story or tell the survivors about the time you... No more stories! Sure thing. Uh, what's on your mind? You and RQ. You two have it so good here. So far from the crown, and one of you still reveres it so much. But you keep pestering me. Making me think about my place and why I did the things I did. You bastards causing this introspection. Asking myself who I was. What was I doing it all for? Keeping secrets and shedding blood. At first I thought I was doing it for others. But that's a stupid reason to do anything. For someone else. Then I realized that I truly believed I was doing the bidding of the king for his sake. But when it came down to it, the people I was doing this job for, they refused to help him. My best friend, probably the love of my life, the man who had saved me from a military execution, he died of pneumonia. I sat by his bedside as he coughed himself to death, all while I had the cure running through my veins. He was even of royal birth. He was in line to inherit the crown. They could have saved him, but they didn't. I was so brainwashed I didn't even question it. I let someone else do my thinking for me. And it takes some punk like RQ to ask why didn't they? So you know what? Fuck them. They want to keep state secrets? They need to find someone else to do their dirty work. Gabriel, I'm going to tell you everything. But it's not going to make sense, and it might be a lot to work through. But we have to break this spell. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty disillusioned with the crown at this point. No, you don't understand. I just need you to promise me you're going to hear me out. You're starting to scare me. Just promise me! Please, Gabriel. Yeah, uh, of course. I'm with you. Okay. That's the first part of this spell. RQ has done some groundwork, but this still won't be easy. What spell? Just work with me here. Yep, uh, yeah, sorry. Go on. You were investigating Eva Schuster, a brigadier in the Royal Army. She was doing some research of her own. You remember all this, yeah? Yeah, of course. Well, on top of trying to come and save you, Harris and I are here in official capacity to retrieve what she stole from the Crown. Yeah, her and the network of one percenters. At the time, before the event, we knew something was stolen, but our records were just a mess. So we started going through our inventory of relics. We assumed something so powerful didn't need to be checked because it was so secure. So of course, it was the last thing we looked for. We found this relic missing only a few days before the event. Then we tried to figure out where it could be. When the event happened, we were obviously not focused on finding this relic. Then we get this mysterious broadcast signal all the way from Utah. It took you a while to get a strong enough signal to send all the way back to the homeland. But once we did, we started listening in. Every week, the few of us started looking forward to your little show. It felt so normal. You did that. You inspired hope. Then, then you started talking about your theories. You were reading reports, confidential briefings, and secret emails. We now knew where this missing relic was. A holy item that could cure all illnesses? A cure to the common cold, all by the power of God. We knew what you had found. Now, Gabe, you gotta stick with me. The relic that was stolen? The relic? was the Holy Grail. The Grail isn't real. 
You have no problem with a sword being flung out of a lake by a spirit to the one true king, but the Holy Grail is where you draw the line? I mean, that's just history. Excalibur is a powerful symbol of the English Empire. If the Grail was real, it would have been taught in school. We would know. I thought you would have some adverse reaction. But we gotta dig deeper. Who is the current king? King George III. And what year is it? 2021, maybe 22. I haven't kept track. Close enough. Now, when did the rebels of the colonies come to fruition? Uh, the children of the revolution? I think that was, um, 1776. I'm trying to stick with you on this, but I do want to voice my confusion. And duly noted, who was the king then, during the revolution? King George III. Ugh, king and country, you're dense at times. Do the math. How long ago was that? That was, uh, 245-ish years ago. That would mean the king was... He's... The king... He's over 300 years old? Yes! And thus we have reached the barrier of the spell. Focus on it, Gabriel. Ah! The facts have always been there. Uh, this is going to hurt, but understand this is the truth. Uh, am I dying? Oh, uh, my head feels like it's in a vice. You're not dying. There's a spell on you that is pushing you back to a status quo that keeps all of this a secret. But you have to keep going. A magical sword handed from a spirit, a king over 300 years old, a cup that caught the blood of the son of God. None of that makes sense. And yet it's your reality. <sighs> By all the hells, I fought in the war to end all wars. <sighs> When was the last war? Almost a hundred years ago. How can I look so young and yet live stories from your history books? Stop. Stop. Wait. I, I don't understand. Why keep all of this a secret? How? Magic. Magic. It's real. Take a deep breath. Let's take this one step at a time. Here, take a drink of water first. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Now, let's take a step back. How? How did this happen? Not to rehash a lot of history, during the high era of Arthur, may he soon return, a quest was given to find the Grail. The original Lancelot said he knew where Joseph of Arimathea ended his journey and sent his son Galahad to fetch it. Long story short, Galahad, Bors, and Percival return with the Grail. Arthur was the only one to drink at first. After drinking of the cup, it was soon realized he had been granted 777 years to his age. He could still be killed, but his natural death was extended. Realizing he didn't want to live for so long, he had his most trusted advisor drink of it. Merlin was now granted the same. But he was a curious man. Do you know what you can learn when time has almost no meaning, Gabriel? Anything. Everything. It is said it takes a lifetime to become a master at something, but what if you had seven? With years of study and research, Merlin learned that the world could be manipulated with intent and power with control and knowledge. Arthur and Merlin agreed that this power and the Holy Grail should remain a secret. So a spell was cast to save the destiny of the planet. A spell to hide all the truth in plain sight and just, just prevent you from asking any questions. We... We were nothing to them. We were just cattle. You were cattle that needed to keep the status quo, not to rock the boat. 
but it was impossible to keep the spell working for everyone. Some people just figured it out. People who were willing to ask the right questions, they broke the spell themselves. Like our Brigadier Schuster. She stole the grail, wanting to use it to help. Tough luck. Why? <laughs> because we only found a pile of ash. She broke it. She destroyed the grail. We found her base. We saw her labs. In the middle of it all was a container filled with dust. But like uh, a bomb had gone off the kind that kind of like burned your shadow. It was just a silhouette and it just looked like a cup. <laughs> <laughs> she destroyed it? Uh, she, yeah. she defied its destiny. We failed before we even began. All she tried to do was save the world. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can handle any more of this, man. Oh. We both clearly gone mad. Oh my god! I, oh my I, god! I've, I've got to take a break. I gotta shut this thing off. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>